It was a cold winter's morning on the island of Sodor. The wind was bitter and the ground hard with frost. Thomas and Percy were cold and cross. All I want is a warm boiler, huffed Thomas. Firelighter knows that. He's late. He's not late, replied Percy. This weather woke us up early. Gusts of wind swirled round the shed, tossing flakes of snow toward Thomas. Then they swooshed round Percy, too. Why don't we talk about something else, shivered Percy. Yes, replied Thomas, like how silly we'll look when our funnels turn into icicles. That's not funny. Maybe we'll stop feeling cold if we talk about warm things, like sunshine and steam. And firelighters, muttered Thomas. Scarves, continued Percy. Scarves, laughed Thomas. That's what you need, Percy, a woolly scarf round your funnel. Thomas was only teasing, but Percy thought happily about scarves until the firelighter came. Sir Topham Hatt was enjoying hot porridge for breakfast. He was looking forward to taking important visitors on a tour of the railway and had pressed his special trousers. I shall put them in my trunk, Sir Topham Hatt said to his wife, and change into them just before the photographs are taken. Then he set off to catch his train. Percy was now working hard. His fire was burning nicely, and he had plenty of steam, but he still thought about scarves. He saw them everywhere he went. My funnel's cold, my funnel's cold, he puffed. I want a scarf, I want a scarf. Rubbish, Percy, said Henry. Engines don't wear scarves. Engines with proper funnels do, replied Percy. You've only got a small one. Before Henry could answer, Percy puffed away. Henry snorted. He was looking forward to pulling the special train. It was time for the photographs. Everyone was excited. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting on the platform for his trousers. 